Hi everyone, I'm Cool as Ice Makeup, and I'm going to do my everyday makeup routine, but voice over, this has been requested by one of you guys. Let's get started. For skin tint, I'm mixing my sunscreen with my tinted moisturizer. I'm going to do it on the back of my hand, a little blob of sunscreen, and then some tinted moisturizer, one drop. The main reason I do this is because the tinted moisturizer that i use is a little bit too dark on my skin it's a lot of shade by the way and i mix it on the back of my hand sun protection is key and then i apply it to my face and blobs and i'm going to blend it with my hands so it's nice and even I think that looks good. Get all the areas of the face on the chin and then the other cheek, <laughs> the nose and chin. I do the step off camera to save myself time, but I'm going to do it today for you guys because this has been requested. For me to do a voice over it's my first time and then blend it in the forehead i think that looks good we're all blended for brows mm -hmm. i'm taking my annabelle cosmetics eyebrow pencil in auburn there it is and then i'm going to fill in my brows what I can see starting with the front. Brows are important. And then I'm going to take the built in spoolie to blend it in. My brows are on the red side. Just keep blending. Other brow. That looks. Good. I've been using this brow pencil since 2018, so that's good. I'm going to prime my eyes, and I'm going to be right back. The palette I'm using is W7 Amplify Palette in Power Trip. For the crease, I'm taking a light brown. The brush I'm using is the Equal Tools the Fluffy Crease Brush. This will contour the crease if you're watching me for the first time or you're seeing my face for the first time my name is cool as ice i'm named after the 1991 vanilla ice movie and i've been doing makeup videos for four years now i used to be an animator but i stopped to focus on makeup videos on youtube for the lower lash line i'm taking a darker brown with some gold shimmer the brush i'm using is the equal tools angled Liner brush, just get in there. This is optional. You guys don't have to do it, but I love to do this step to get some definition. I'm going to blend it by taking the hand back. That looks good. The eyes are coming together. For waterline, I'm taking Annabelle Cosmetics Cool My Eyeliner in Pure White. This will help open up the eyes. I prefer white eyeliner for a youthful look instead of black i don't like black this will help open up the eyes and give some lightness for the lid i'm taking a gold shade it's spreading across the lid evenly and there's no follow on my face for the inner corner i'm taking an off-white shade i get my mascara to the side and i'm gonna be right back okay mascara is on eyes are complete to highlight the rest of my face i'm taking hard candy fix my halo highlight and i'm gonna start on my nose there are places that i highlight i cannot live without a highlighter it is the icing on the cake for me and my go-to highlight shade is white and i hit pan on this one I'm going to get another white highlighter once this runs out. As I turn my head to light, you can really see that sheen. For lip prep, 
I took Taste, Beauty, Aquafina, and Original, and I'm going to remove it with some toilet paper so my lips are nice and hydrated. Chap lips are not cute. For nude lipstick, I'm taking LA Colors Lip Duo in Clarity. No lip liner and no clear gloss. This is the perfect pinky nude for every day for my skin tone. I've been using this lipstick for two years. It's from Dollar Tree for $1.50 Canadian. It is so perfect. Here is the complete. Completed my everyday makeup routine but voiceover. If you have any requests, you can put them in the comments below. So stay tuned for more views and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.